Law of Cosines. Let's first talk about an oblique triangle. If none of the angles of a triangle is a right angle, the triangle is called oblique. One type of oblique triangle is when all the angles are acute. Acute means that the angle is less than 90 degrees. Another oblique triangle is when you have two acute angles and one obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. To solve an oblique triangle, means to find the lengths of its sides and the measure of its angles. There are four types of obtuse triangles we'll need to solve. One side and two angles are known, side, angle, angle, or angle, side, angle. Two sides and the angle opposite one of them are known, side, side, angle. Two sides and the included angle are known, side, angle, side. Three sides are known, side, side, side. The first two are solved using the law of sines. We did this in a previous video. The next two, we're going to use the law of cosines. The next two, we use the law of cosines. Two sides and the included angle are known. Side, angle, side. So here's an example. Another example would be if we knew A, angle beta, and C. Another example would be if we knew B, angle gamma, and side A. Three sides are known, and I think this is pretty straightforward. We just know all of the sides. The law of cosines. For a triangle with sides A, B, C, and opposite angles, alpha, beta, gamma, respectively, we're going to have these three formulas. Remember, this is a side, and this is an angle. There is an alternative form to the law of cosines. This is our standard form. The alternative form lets us solve for an angle instead of a side and we will be using both of these formulas. Just to calculate a note for a moment, finding an angle. Let's say I have the cosine of beta equals 0.44. I need to use the cosine inverse to actually find that angle. And how I do it is I press second cosine, then 0.44, and then enter. These will both be fours. And you can see from my calculator display. And it turns out that beta is approximately 63.9 degrees. Solve the triangle B equals 10, C equals 17, and alpha equals 75. We always fill in what we know first, and you'll notice we have side, angle, side. So that tells us we're going to use the law of cosines to solve. I decided to solve for side A first, and here's the formula. I substituted in what I know, B and C, and then the cosine of alpha, which is 75, turns out that a squared is 301. Remember, I don't want to know what a squared is, I want to know what a is, and so I simply take the square root. And it turns out that a is 17.3. And you'll notice that I did this all on my calculator, this is this equation, and then I took the square root. I decided to find beta next. I use the alternative formula for the law of cosine and I substituted in A, C, and B. It turns out that the cosine of beta is approximately 0.83. Remember, I need to do the cosine inverse to actually find beta. And when I do that, as you can see from my calculator, I get 33.9 degrees. Lastly, let's figure out gamma. Well, that's pretty easy since we know the other two angles. We're going to take 180 minus 75 minus 33.9 and that gives us an angle for gamma of 71.1 degrees. Solve the triangle when A equals 6, B equals 8, and C equals 5. It's always a good idea to fill in what we know. It's always a good idea to fill in what we know. B is 8, A is 6, and C is 5. This gives us side, side, side and we're going to use the law of cosines to solve this one. I decided to solve for angle alpha first. I'm using the alternative form of the law of cosines. I substituted in what we know, and that gives us the cosine of alpha is 0 0.66. Remember, I need to take the cosine inverse to figure out the degrees. And as you can see from the calculator, it turns out that alpha is approximately 48.7 degrees. I chose to solve for beta next. You could have done gamma. I'm going to keep with the law of cosines, since that is what this video is about. You could use the law of sines if you'd like. Once again, I substitute everything I know. I'm going to use the inverse cosine, and it turns out that beta 
is approximately 92.9 degrees. And of course you can see this all from my calculator. And then to find gamma, and then to find gamma is very easy. So gamma equals 180 minus 48.7 minus 92.9, which gives us 38.4 degrees. Solve the triangle, A equals 221, B equals 149, and gamma is 70.4 degrees. It's always a good idea to fill in what we know. I decided to solve for side C first. I filled in what I know, and it turns out that C is approximately 221.2. And you can see how I did that on the calculator. Next, I decided to solve for the cosine of alpha. Once again, I used the alternative form. I filled in what I knew, and it turns out that the cosine of alpha is 0 0.34, and you can see that from my calculator. We need to do the cosine inverse to figure out the degrees, and it turns out that angle alpha is 70.1 degrees. The only angle left is beta. We're going to take 180 minus 70.4 minus 70.1, and it turns out that angle beta is 39.5 degrees. I would like you to try and solve this triangle. Press pause, solve it, and then play for the solution. As you can see, side C is 78, angle alpha is 136.4 degrees, and beta is 11.5 degrees. I would like you to try and solve this triangle. Press pause, solve the triangle, and then play to see the solutions. First, I solve for alpha. It turns out that angle alpha is 31.7 degrees. I solved for beta, which turns out to be approximately 8 degrees. And then finally, gamma is 140.3 degrees. Thank you for joining me in this Law of Cosines. If you haven't, please watch the Law of Sines.